Good Sunday morning, everybody. This is going to be a little bit longer session on this. Um, the reason why is because we're going to finish off the book of the Monopoly Secret Vault. Um, but we're not going to be scratching them. We're going to be scanning them. So I'm going to be scanning 51. Uh, yep, 51. Goes all the way down to zero. Just to show that they're all there. Um, if you didn't catch the rest of this book that I've done, go ahead and watch the other videos that have been posted. I did hit a $1,000 claimer out of this book, so hopefully we can hit something else. With that being said, wish me luck on this Monopoly $3 Secret Vault Scratch Session. I have my trusty dusty phone right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to scratch the barcode off, off screen of course. Then I'm gonna go ahead and scan it and I will show you if it is a winner or not. That way we don't miss anything. And the first one is not a winner. Second one being scratched currently right now. And we're gonna go ahead and scan it. And not a winner. You know, if the rest of this book is not a winner, that's okay with me. Cause you know, we did hit a claimer in this book. So, I mean, yeah, more would be great, but you know, beggars can't be choosing. $5 winner on that ticket. Next ticket. Not a winner, not a winner, not a winner, not a winner. Next ticket. Not a winner. It is hard to hold a phone, scratch, and take the tickets off the stack that I have over here. Let's see next ticket. Not a winner. winner on that one hey we're at eight bucks can't complain there All right let me just move some of the scratch stuff that i've done already oh it doesn't stick to the table not a winner man i should have done this the whole book Makes it so much easier. I know you guys like seeing it scratched, but I keep missing the numbers on this ticket. So I don't want to miss any more numbers. So I'm going to scan them. So hopefully that is okay with you folks. $3 winner. Zero. I cannot separate them from the stack. We are having a problem. Oops, sorry about that. I hit the camera as I was trying to clean some of the scratch dust up. The extra latex that you got to scratch off. Not a winner. So 
So, sorry, I should have shown that earlier, but not a winner on that ticket either. $3 winner on that ticket. Zero. Zero is the new hero. Sometimes you just got to talk to yourself and it's okay. Now, if you start answering your own questions, I guess that's when we have a problem. But you know what? I answer all my questions all the time. Is that why I have problems? Look at that. Another $3 winner as I'm talking to myself. The latex is sticking to the table. It'd be nice to hit, you know, another hundred or so out of this book. Zero. Ten dollar winner, 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 chicken dinner on that one. Zero. 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 This is ticket number 30 for the people that are keeping track. Zero. So folks, in the comments below, let me know what the biggest prize that you want on a scratch off has been. Or actually, you know what? Tell me the biggest prize you want on a lotto ticket in general. How about that? Mine is that $1,000 win from the $3 ticket. That is the biggest win that I have won from the lotto. I've had uh, two other wins that were $1,000. Um, one a few years back, it was actually off a $10 ticket and $3 winner on that one. And uh, right before I started this channel uh, of this year, I hit a $1,000 on the Price is Right ticket that is actually one reason why The Price is Right is one of my favorite tickets because I've actually done very, very well on that ticket. Not on not on the channel, though, but I've done very well. Uh, I bought, I think it was four books total of The Price is Right. And I think up over almost two grand altogether from that from those books which is pretty good. No, it's not too grand. It's probably closer to 1,500. But by far the, the $1,000 winner I got from this book right here is by far the best that I have gotten because of the uh, price it costs to buy the ticket compared to the price that I won. And that is why it is the best that I have gotten. So let me know in the comments below what your best is and how much the ticket cost. 
I just like to know. We like to be friends here, right? We're friends? I consider you guys friends. And also, too, while you are commenting what you have won, also hit that like button. Look at that $10 winner, as I say, won. $10 winner on that one. Um, hit that like button. Hit that sub button if you haven't subscribed yet. And also hit that share button because don't you want to share the wins with everybody else too i mean we are almost at 300 members of the group or subs to this to this channel i should say and uh don't you think your friends and family would love to be part of it too that's not a winner we're on number 19 everybody 19 now Not a winner. And I hope you all understand why I'm not scratching these tickets. The reason why I'm not scratching these tickets, as I said before, is because I keep missing the numbers. I'm doing so many of these tickets at once that the numbers start looking like other numbers and I'm missing them. So I'm scratching the barcode and scanning them to just to make it easier. Will I play these tickets again? Um, I might play the tickets again, but I'm not gonna be playing a full book of them. That is for sure. <laughs> Cause these tickets are hard on the eyes. Very hard on the eyes. And my eyes actually hurt after doing these tickets. So, I hope you all understand that. Plus, don't you guys want to see the bigger tickets? I mean, hitting a thousand dollars on a three dollar ticket is very, very nice. Three dollar winner! Look at that. Zero. Well, guys, it's not a bus session. <laughs> That's a good thing. Especially after, you know, hitting that. It's very possible to, you know, not get any more wins. But I've also seen it where, you know, they stick another $500 win in a book. I've also seen them stick, you know, a couple hundred dollar wins in the book. So... The Florida Lottery likes to be uh, special, if you know what I mean by that, because, you know, they are, I think, between Florida and California, those are probably the two states that like to joke around with their tickets where, you know, you get a win all and there's like a dollar underneath everything to just get your money back from the ticket. And then you're like, what's the point? Like, what's the point of this? This is, this isn't cool. That's a loser. So, but supposedly Florida has the most claimers out there. Uh, I don't know how true that is because I haven't done the research on that. But what I hear is Florida has the most claimers. And I've hit a claimer on the channel, which is great. That's an $8 winner. I mean, come on, $8? That's that's a weird number to win. There was one day I had a... Uh, Florida a long time ago had a, uh, a bingo that was $2. And I played it. I thought I won, you know, the two bucks back out of it. And lo and behold, I took it to the uh, gas station to redeem it. And I was going to buy another ticket. The lady goes, oh, you won $13. I'm thinking to myself, there's a $13 prize on a $2 ticket. Just think about that. Why, wouldn't, why in the world would they put a 
$13 prize on a $2 ticket. The only thing I can think of is maybe the machine didn't clear itself and she added some other numbers into the $2 ticket that I won. I have no idea, but I wasn't complaining. Not at all, not on that. $3 winner on that one. This is ticket number six, everybody. Zero. My stack of losers are trying to come back and attack me over here. Zero. Come on, get unstuck. There we go. I started putting the uh, ticket in the loser pile before it even popped up saying it was a loser. I had my hands mixed crossed here. This is ticket number three. Zero. We got one, two, and three left. So this is ticket number two. Then we go to ticket number one. Then we go to ticket number zero. Would you guys like to see these tickets again on my channel? Let me know. Let me know if you guys would like to see these tickets again on my channel. $3 winner. That's probably the last winner of this book, which is okay. Because you know what? I am not complaining. I will tell you that. Zero. All right. So we have three. Six. Uh, two, six, that's 14. Seventeen. Twenty-seven. Thirty forty forty three forty six fifty one Fifty six, and fifty nine dollars out of the rest of that book. So for a grand total of, let me just do this calculation real quick. One thousand ninety four plus fifty six dollars equals one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars in this book. Yes. Folks, on this session here, I did film at night. As you can see, it's 6.47 p.m. I filmed this Saturday night um, because I knew I was going to be a little bit longer session by scanning and everything. So, folks, this is the only session I do film at night. I film all my sessions in the morning. So, thank you, folks, for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing with your friends, and catch you tomorrow.